Heavenly Father, in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ, uh, we are grateful that you've given us another day where we can hear your word. And as your word goes forth, we pray that it is going to reach many. And as they receive it, my Father, we pray that their hearts are going to be transformed as they hearken to your voice, your voice that is able to change many, to become vessels that you'd be gladly uh, able to use. We thank you, Lord, and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to our daily devotion. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuk of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. This is mother to the CMCs around the globe and also mother to the amazing champions. These are children we take care of in Nairobi. Uh, we took joy to have you again and even to fellowship with you again in having this word that the Lord has given to my heart to share with you this week. And this week, our message is on productive heart. And uh, you know, you can have a heart that is not productive. You can have a heart that is productive. And I'm praying that each one of us is going to have that heart that will be productive, the one that the Lord will be able to use so that he can produce, so that he can win many into the kingdom of God because the matters of the hearts, they really matter. Now, in uh, the first episode is on faithful. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 10, from New American Standard Bible, it says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind to give to each person according to his ways, according to the results of his deeds. The results of your deeds are going to be caused by the, the what you have done with your heart. And that is why you need to have a heart that is productive, where you are asking the Lord to search it so that he is able, is the only one that can turn it to be our heart, that can produce that which he wants. That you allow your heart to be in the will of God, so that God will be able to use that heart to glorify his name, produce that which will glorify him, produce that and bring forth results that are caused by a heart that is willing to be used of God. Let's have a look at Matthew chapter 25, verse 20 to 23, New Living Translation. The servant to whom he had entrusted the five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest and I have earned five more. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let us celebrate together. The servant who had received the two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest and I have earned two more. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you more, many more responsibilities. Let us celebrate. Do you see a heart that is productive? What happens? There is celebration at your production. And that is what we are looking for that the Lord is going to enable us to become vessels that will produce. And after they produce, then we are going to have a time of celebration. I'm not going to read about what happened to the one that was given, just one. This one that was entrusted with five bags of silver came forward with five more. Uh -huh. That is, he was able at least to add five more, multiply. Are you willing to add and multiply? Are you ready to do that which God has allowed you to do? Do it even better. Don't compare yourself that with anybody else because probably the people you're comparing yourself to probably are lazy bones. You need to, pro to, you need to do what God is asking you to do and even do it much better. Produce that which God has asked you to do and produce something better than what you even yourself 
you know that it is just depending on God that you'll be able to produce that which is going to glorify him. You see these two people, as they were given each, the one five bags and the other one two bags, they, we, we are told, they were told, well done, my good and faithful servant. That is what they were told because of um, them being willing to be used of God. I am here to ask you, are you willing to be used by God? Let me tell you, as you are ready to be used of God in that one item, that one assignment he has given you. And probably he's given it to you through somebody, maybe through your pastor, maybe through your bishop, maybe through your apostle, maybe through the prophet, maybe probably at your place of work, God has allowed you to be given an assignment. And let me tell you, you when you do things, knowing that you're doing them unto the Lord. Because many people, even especially in church, they think that whatever they are doing, they're doing it for their pastors. They're doing it so that they, are, they can, and some, some of them, they don't do it so that they don't, so that they don't grow their pastor. Because they don't want their pastor to grow as much as maybe he's growing. So they want probably, they, they lay down their tools. They, they just drop down their tools so that their pastor can suffer. Or they see probably their pastor is about to shine. And they drop their tools because they don't want their pastor to continue shining. I am here to tell you, let me tell you, you cannot, it is you yourself that is, you're dropping that tool for yourself. You are the one who is hiding that talent instead of having it multiplied. Instead of having it, bring, bring, uh, having it to bring it forth, you are presenting that talent back to the Lord. The owner of those bags, the one that gave you those bags, is not the pastor. It is not your boss. It is actually the king of kings that has given you that great responsibility because you would have allowed somebody else to take it. You would have given it to somebody else, but he allowed you to be found to be given those bags to go and see and do the business that is going to bring a result. But you are looking at it like when I go and bring a multi, I go and have it multiplied, or I work so hard in church that I have so many people coming in. Probably you are the praise and worship leader, or probably you are the evangelist in your church. And when you praise and worship, immediately you stand, people stand and rejoice, and we have people giving their lives to Jesus. Let me tell you, if you think you're the one who is doing that and think that your pastor probably is not productive, I'm here to let you know that it is God you are serving, it's not your pastor. Pastor has his own assignment and God is going to demand from your pastor that which he, ha he has been assigned to. So it is your duty and your responsibility to do that which God has called you to do. Not looking at the pastor, but looking at the one who is the rewarder of those ones who diligently seek him. And now, you know, he's going to give you a well done. Your pastor might not even tell you thank you for doing a good job. Your pastor might not even, even, even look at you because of the good work you have done. But let me tell you, our God, our God is not a liar. Our God does not misuse people. Our God will always tell you well done. He knows when and how he's going to do it because he is our Lord and he wants us to have productive hearts. We become faithful so that we can produce that which will glorify his name. In Luke chapter 16, verses 10 to 15, if you are faithful in little things, you'll be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest in greater responsibilities. And if you are untrustworthy about world wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with the other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? No one can serve two masters, for you will hate one and love the other. You'll be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and be enslaved to money. So you got to choose. Are you serving God or are you serving money? If you are serving God, let me tell you, you are going to be faithful in the little that you have been assigned to do by your boss, by your pastor, by whoever that is giving you an assignment. Do it unto the Lord and the Lord is going to reward you. He knows the best way to do it. Don't do it for money. 
because if you're going to do it so that you can be paid, I am here to let you know. There is no other reward awaiting you because you've already been paid. But do it unto the Lord, waiting upon the Lord and knowing that the Lord knows all your needs and how he's going to take care of you. God bless you for now. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. This is Mother to the Amazing Champions and Mother to the CMCs around the globe. I welcome you to log into our website and follow us and also be our partner at www.agracem.org. At the same time, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Facebook is Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace and YouTube is Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke. And God is going to bless you as you continue to share, subscribe. At the same time, please comment. Be blessed for now. I look forward to be with you again tomorrow. And God is going to be with you and bless you. Because, you know, as we are concluding the uh, verse 14 of uh, Luke 16, 10 to 15 says, The Pharisees who dearly loved their money heard all this and scoffed at him. Then he said to them, You like to appear righteous in public, but God knows your hearts. What this world honors, it is detestable in the sight of God. May you, what you are doing before the Lord be acceptable, be what God wants. Do it from a clean heart because God knows your heart. Don't do it to please any other person. Please the Lord and God is going to bless you. Be blessed. I look forward to be with you again tomorrow. Shalom, shalom, shalom.